European uh, steel demand and also the production has fallen substantially in the year 2022, almost over 10%. But at the same time, what is interesting as far as the European markets are concerned, their imports have not come down much when compared to 2021. So that is where some opportunity for Indian steel companies uh, to export uh, to Europe and also the rest of Asia. And the Chinese uh, model of growth, uh, if we uh, hear them uh, correctly, uh, is that it is more of consumption-led growth than the investment-led growth. Therefore, uh, even though there is uh, some temporary increase in the overall commodity uh, prices and also overall outlook, but the Chinese economy, when it uh, reopens, uh, it is mostly uh, maybe consumption-driven. Uh, therefore, uh, the steel demand may not grow substantially even in the year 2023, even after reopening of the economy. But it is an opportunity for the rest of the world to meet the uh, uh, the demand which was uh, uh, the, the the demand which was being met by China by way of exports. To that extent, I think Indian steel companies will be able to compete better. The, the export uh, duty has been removed uh, from November 22 onwards. Uh, I've got to ask you, sir, in terms of, I suppose, the margin pressure you've been facing, every steel manufacturer around the world has been facing margin pressure. And obviously, you've benefited from the fact that we've seen coal prices in terms of input costs coming off quite considerably. But are you concerned that we are going to see yet another ride higher in terms of iron ore pricing if the China reopening goes the way that people are expecting and demand picks up for iron ore? And how does that impact your, your margin expectations moving forward over the rest of the year? The news of uh, opening of JD's economy has pushed not only steel prices by almost $100 per tonne, but also iron ore and cooking coal prices. Both of them went up. But as uh, Chinese uh, administration is talking about it is more of speculative in nature, if somebody looks at the overall demand supply scenario of uh, iron ore, uh, the 50 million ton of more iron ore is expected into the market in the calendar year 2023. And at the same time, overall, <coughs> overall production of uh, steel in the year 2023 is not expected to be higher than 2022. So if that is the scenario, I don't expect uh, the iron ore prices uh, to go up Whatever uptake we are seeing right now, it is only temporary and it is more of a speculative in nature in my view. Similar view in cooking coal. Even though China started again getting iron ore from Australia, but the overall demand supply scenario on the cooking coal side doesn't subscribe to the view of higher cooking coal prices in the current calendar year. So similarly, the steel prices, steel prices may not go up significantly than what we are seeing. So in that, the margins will get normalized in the year 2023. Instead of, uh, have, instead of having seen a very uh, higher super profits in the last year and uh, depressed profits in the year 2022 and normalized profits in the year 2023.